Man, I woke up and I was looking at this Darnell Brooks Jr. thing where this guy in Wisconsin runs through this Christmas parade, kills five people, injured 40 plus, and I've been doing some research. He's a worthless person. Multiple criminal background, and for some reason, he wanted to take his car, and I've been watching the news reports where literally people who saw this, where people were literally bumping off his car. You could hear the thud of the bodies bumping off his car. So he was fully aware of the carnage that he was creating, and he kept driving. See, why am I talking about this? There will be more incidents of this type of stuff. See, I'm going to give you some of my analysis. Darnell Brooks Jr.'s life was crap. And it's been crap for a very long time. And he saw people having a good time, celebrating. He saw a life he couldn't have. And he got very angry, and I think that he maliciously killed these people. See, like, this is a small subject, because what Darnell Brooks Jr. did is substantially much more uh, heinous than what the person did to me who broke into my vehicle. But when I took my vehicle to get the retent, they told me he tried to break the driver's window then he went around to the side window and broke that one to get into the car. Worthless people don't give a damn. And what you're going to see with the great global reset, you're going to see a dramatic rise in the number of worthless people. And they're going to be preying on you, someone who has a life, maybe you have a family, maybe you have a nice little situation, they're going to prey upon you. Because I feel, because you know, let's talk about the mental transformation that I had to go through. Once upon, in my life, once upon a time in my life, I used to be a hater. I was a big ass hater. And that came from jealousy, envy, because my life was crap. My life was crap. And I remember when I was going through this transformation, that and I had this conversation with myself in the bathroom and I was like, you gotta do better, you gotta do better. And then I started to mentally say like, I would usually, used to be, when I would see someone in a nice car, I would say something messed up because I was jealous, I, I was envious because I couldn't afford a nice car. And then I started to do this. I would see someone in a nice car and it's like, that's good for him or that's good for her. Maybe they worked hard. And I would reframe my thinking from a hater to a supporter to a congratulator. And this took me about a year to remap my mind because I was stupid. Um, and this is, this is a purview of the worthless people. They're envious, they're jealous, they're haters. They have low impulse control. Darnell Brooks Jr. Criminal record. See, when you have a propensity for crime, it continues. It doesn't just leave you. It doesn't just stop. And I feel what he did, he did on purpose. This wasn't an accident. He did this on purpose because he saw all of those people living a life he could not live because he embraced hood culture. There's numerous videos of him on YouTube where at one point he was a pimp and something about he had like this 16 year old kid and he was pimping her out in the bottom. And I'm just sitting here like, you see this time and time again. So with the global reset, you're going to see a dramatic rise in the number of worthless people. You're gonna see a dramatic rise in the number of people who are 
going to start taking advantage of good, decent people. They're going to start um, really showing out. I'm like, what's happening here in Buckhead? You have a bunch of people who don't have anything and they're coming here and they're seeing the beautiful apartments. They're seeing the beautiful houses. They're seeing the, the great cars. They're seeing the fancy shopping. They're seeing the beautiful restaurants and they're like, I don't have that. And they're mad. They're mad. And they're gonna take their anger out. Cause like, once again, this is one of the reasons that I started carrying a gun. I've had a concealed carry permit for, for many, many years. And I didn't really carry my gun. But I've started carrying my gun on the regular because we're in a situation where in 2022, 2023, 2024, you're going to see a massive spike in this type of behavior where like this guy literally ran through the barricades of the parade and started driving through the parade, hitting people. That's the agency of a psychopath to render harm to people that have done nothing to you. That's psychopathic behavior. So what we're going to see with the worthless people, as it continues to go, we're going to see more and more acts like this. We're going to see more and more things like this. We're going to see um, craziness, just craziness, because I want you to think the last two years been locked down, COVID, people are having parades, people are starting to come back. And with this worthless people, the worthless people, and I, I, I will interject of something else here. Uh, last night, I had a few people leave some nasty comments and I went to their YouTube page and I started to look at the content they were consuming. Cartoons, rap, hip hop culture, consistently, consistently. And these are the worthless people. Uh, I remember before my uh, Instagram page got deleted that people was like, yeah, I'm broke. I'd rather be broke than the pedophile." file. And this is another purview of the worthless people. High emotional investment in bullshit. Worthless people will invest a lot of emotional currency into bullshit because one of the things is, and like, I keep hearing this thing about comments, 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 comments. Uh, many people are upset because I am deleting their messed up comments and they're just like, it, it hit me. These people have invested so much emotional currency in a comment, in a comment. And because one of the things, like I'm gonna be working on the masculine frame today. And one of the things that I'm gonna work on is the mentality, because that's where it all starts. Everything starts with your mentality. The worthless people have a trash mentality of self, a great deal of self-loathing, a great deal of self-hate, no love. I mean, as I look back growing up, I had people tell me they were proud of me as a kid. I am proud of you, you did so well. I heard that. The great left behind, the worthless people, they've never heard that. You have grown people walking the planet that no one has ever said, I am proud of you. They've never heard that and they're angry. And to a degree, I can understand to be raised up in an environment where you're not loved and supported and respected and taken care of. That, that's, that's a reason to be angry. That's a valid reason to be angry. But what's happening is this anger, which is valid, is going to spill over into the greater population. And they're gonna start taking their anger out on innocent people. I mean, like, I, I was just sitting there, like, watching all of the footage. Like, the dude just ran to his parade, just hitting people. People ain't done nothing to him. 
He didn't even know these folks. And he killed five people. That number may be going up because there's some people in the hospital in critical condition. And I'm just sitting here because one of the things that I am doing, and this is something I've talked about and I've talked about on this channel about living in the hood, why I refuse to live in the hood. I've not lived in the hood in almost 20 years. I have refused to live in the hood because that environment opens you up to becoming a statistic just because of proximity. You don't have to do nothing. You don't have to be participating in the hood activities. You just, by virtue of being there, you can end up dead just by you living there. Because the worthless people have no sanctity of life. They have no regard for hard work. Like once again, and when I saw his picture and I saw the neck tattoo, I saw the dreads, and there are many decent, hardworking people who have neck tattoos and dreads, but what you're seeing is that's gonna become a representative of your cultural appropriation of what, how you culturally wanna get down. You may not be, you may have a neck tattoo and be the best dude in the world, but you're gonna be judged by the Darnell Brooks Juniors of the world. So be very careful before you tat yourself up because unless you are gonna do like a no jumper who does porn and all other kind of stuff. So his brand can take that because his brand is a dirty brand. But guys, just get ready, just get ready. Because I mean, I just sit here and for me as a person to harm someone who's done nothing to me is inconceivable. It's just inconceivable. I, 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 just, I just can't grasp that. But I'm a productive person. I'm not a worthless person. And these worthless people, once again, you're growing up, no one loves you, no one's taking care of you, no one tells you they're proud of you. That's a valid reason to be angry. If I grew up like that, I would be angry. And I grew up in a somewhat strange situation because my grandmother was my mother from age, you know, being born to about 11 and then she passed. So one of the things that I got was I was told that I was, you know, she was proud of me. She supported me. She taught me to read. I grew up in a loving, supportive environment during my formative years. That makes a huge difference makes a huge difference. And the worthless people, cause like, like soft white underbelly. This is a very real segment of our society. And many people's like, that's just a small percentage of our society. I don't think that's a small percentage of our society. If you look at the social economic pyramid, let's go at the 0.5% which is the billionaire class. That's not 1%, that's 0.5%, maybe even 0.2% of the overall population. And then you go below that, the 1%, I'm in the 1%. And then you go to the top 10%, and then you go to the top 20%. The top 20% runs everything. The top 20% is the buffer zone, the 20% and the 10% are the buffer zone between the masses, which is 80%, 80%, and the 0.5%, that's the buffer zone. And one of the things that you will see, with the, especially with the top 10%, is the laws that are created. Because they're creating laws that if you are not in the top 10%, which are going to circumvent you, like, once again, I feel that crime is gonna become so bad that we're going to see a revisit of early New York, stop and frisk, because I've noticed something, that with the younger people, everyone is embracing the hot, hip look. Uh, they're embracing that, they're, they're adopting it, but that is also the uniform of the worthless people. And you're gonna have a lot of good people who are gonna get caught up in this mess because they choose to 
wear a certain type of attire, they choose to have certain hairstyles, they're gonna get caught up in this. I was watching this comedian and it, he made some jokes, but it ain't funny. Uh, he had a bow tie on, a nice cardigan, collegiate sweater with a big C on it and glasses. And you know, he said, this is police repellent. What you wear, how you dress, and how you carry yourself is gonna go a long way how you'll be treated. And many people in the worthless class, once again, let, let me go ahead and get into the deeper pathology because I've been keeping track of my renters. And one of the things that I consistently see is the correlation between filth, being unorganized, and late payments and unorganized money. An unorganized life leads to unorganized money. And I consistently see this pattern over and over and over and over again. Like the guy who stole my 740i, he was a worthless person. He was a worthless person. I actually had to shampoo the car because there was dirt on the pillars and stuff. And I'm just sitting there like, how can people live like this? How can they live like this? But once again, like I grew up poor. I grew up in a house that didn't have running water. But guess what? I dressed nice, I took baths, and I was clean. And this was common. Even though I grew up in a poor neighborhood, it was a certain level of pride where you didn't have people coming outside looking like anything. There was a few families in the neighborhood who did like that, and once again, criminality, drug use, was rampant in that in that sector. It was rampant. So one of the things that you guys have got to understand is the rise of the worthless people is going to impact you or someone you love. Because it's gonna be that many of them. I mean, we have a population of 330 million, 330 million people in the United States of America. And I'm estimating in the next 2022, 2023, 2024, 25, we're gonna have about 100 million people in the worthless class. 100 million people. Essentially, almost a third of our population are gonna be occupying the ranks of the worthless people. They're gonna overwhelm our court systems, gonna overwhelm the police force, gonna over, I mean, it's going to be a huge, huge mess. And like I said, I advise you to get a gun. I advise you to start going to range. I advise you to start shooting because it is coming. It is going to be such a big part of American society and globally. This isn't just happening in America. It's happening in the UK. It's happening in Russia. It's happening in Germany. The worthless people, and one of the things that is fueling this angst of the worthless people, because back in the day, poor people were poor. We've always had poor people, right? But we did not have social media over amplifying the lives of the, the well-to-do. The poor people were poor, everyone they knew was poor. They didn't have a, a, a window to look through to see how people were living better. And the social media window is creating a lot of angst, is creating, like, it is so bad that people wanna fake it versus actually making it. Let me say that again. They wanna fake it versus actually making it. They want to look successful, have the accumulants of being successful, but <clears throat> actually creating real, sustainable, and doable success, we're not interested in that. We just want the look, we just want the fit. We just, and like I said, I just look at this, because this is a signal. Darnell Brooks Jr. running through that parade is a signal of what's to come. It's what's to come. And it's going to be very, very, very bad. Now, what can you do to protect yourself? I know this is gonna sound like an oversimplification, you want to get as rich as you can, as fast as you can. You want to live in the best neighborhood. Once again, living in the best neighborhood is not going to protect you. They're going to be coming to the best neighborhoods. They're going to be coming to the best apartment complexes. They're going to be coming to the best condos because that's where the gold is. But 
it's going to give you a moat because you will have to deal, just like me with this dude breaking my window. I'm having to deal with a little of it, but I don't have to deal with a lot of it. So live, you know, you want to get as rich as you can. You want to live in the best neighborhood you can. You want to send your kids to the best school you can, because if you're like, once again, if you choose to live in the hood because of low rent, you're picking your children's friends, boyfriends and girlfriends, which are going to be coming from the worthless class. So you're not doing your kids any favor by living in the cheap rental zone. You're not doing any favors. So what you want to do is to build yourself, get productive and to escape this. Cause like, you know, I've talked about this over and over and over again on this channel that why I don't live in the hood because environment is such a positive factor in how you live. Once again, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to find that study. I'm going to link it in the comments of genius level IQ kids, kids with IQs of 140. The kids who came from socially disadvantaged economic backgrounds did not do well in life. And the little geniuses that came from wealthy families took off. Why? It was the environment. It's the environment. Because if you're growing up in a bad environment, that is gonna override so many things because I want you to think about it. Who do you spend the most time with? Do you spend the most time with your parents? Do you spend the most time with your friends? that environment is going to be so pervasive, it's going to be so strong. And one of the things that you have got to do is to separate yourself from the worthless people. Because the worthless people, this is the majority of the people who are leaving these comments and making these videos about me, they're worthless people. They're demo people like Daryl Brooks. He destroyed what he could not have. So they're like coming after me. And you know, at one point it was like, we're really, really angry and we don't like that video. Now his turn to it's like, we're gonna to try to destroy you, Glendon Cameron, because we don't like the fact that you're rich. We don't like the fact you drive a Porsche. We don't like that because I can't do it. So we're gonna to try to mess it up for you. Fortunately for me, I understand the power of intellectual property. And also, let me go ahead and give you a little game. Do you guys know that I can create another business that no one knows who owns it and make a lot of money. See, once again, there, there's so many ways that I can protect myself from this. It ain't funny because once again, you're dealing with people who are not that bright. They're not that bright to begin with. And then they consume TikTok and other social media things that make them dumber. So guys, like I'll be good. Don't even worry about me, I'll be good. But one of the things that you have to understand going forward is the rise of the worthless people and you have to be on guard. Like when you go out, I know it's like you wanna just go out and live your life, but you've gotta be somewhat military style. You've gotta be uh, vigilant. You've got to be looking. You've got to be on your P's and Q's because the worthless people will be coming for you. The worthless people will be coming to take what you will. Like once again, I know I made this uh, reference and literally you could be in your house with your wife and children and someone can be downstairs rooting around in your house trying to steal from you. At that time, it's gonna be the time to have a gun and to put a bullet in their head. And I know that sounds very, very dark and it sounds very mean, but here's the thing. The worthless people will take you out over $10 because they're that depressed. They're that pressed. They will take you out over $10. So if you value your life, you value your, value your sanctity, you value your family, you will arm yourself up. You will get a gun, you will learn how to shoot it. And when the, if and when, and let's pray that it never happens. I don't want you to be in a position where you have to take someone's life. That's a very, ugly thing because that's something that can haunt you. But it gets to the point that worthless people are gonna be pushing their agenda, which is to take what you have because they don't have it. And it's gonna get ugly. It's gonna get really, really rough. And I want you guys to protect yourself. So hopefully this message reached you guys. Hopefully you're getting it. 
And this is, like I said, Darnell Brooks Jr. running through that parade is just a signal of what's to come. There will be more acts like this. There will be more situations like this because the worthless people are going to be all over society. So I got a training that's going to be coming up Monday the 29th and it's free. So the link's below and you get the free audio book. So that's all I got for you guys. I will talk to you in the next one.